Hi, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Today we'll take a look at something that can create unnecessarily large file sizes. If I go to open a part and navigate to the one that I want, I'm just going to check out its properties to see how large it is. You can see this simple ratchet part is right around 5.5 megabytes, which is much larger than it should need to be. I'll go ahead and open it anyway, since that's how we'll fix this and decrease that size. Again, just note that there really isn't that much going on with the file, it's just one body with a relatively low number of features. Most often this large file size is an issue with a certain setting. Let's go check out our options, under Document Properties, and then Image Quality. These sliders can increase file size up to some much higher numbers than necessary, especially when it gets toward the red end. Even just dropping these down to about half will make for much more manageable file sizes without really sacrificing too much resolution. Let's close this and go back through the open dialog to check the file size again. See that moving it even just that amount brought it all the way down to 250 kilobytes. Now imagine the effects that this could have if there were several parts in an assembly. Usually when we see this, it's an issue with a document template. So if this part was made on a template that several people use, it may be worth checking it out and changing it there to prevent this in the future. Thanks for watching. Contact us if you have any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.